guys, how's it going? Amanda Golden Petrie or AGP here from Markets Like a Nerd. And all this week in our Facebook group, we are sharing with you behind the scenes of our three tiered strategy or the straight A process that we use to come up with a variety of different Facebook ad angles that meet prospects where they're at in their buying journey, in their levels of awareness, and addresses the exact frame of mind that they're in to get the message, the exact message that they need to hear in order to move them to the next stage in your funnel using Facebook ads. So that's what we're talking about all this week. I'm hosting the series this week. Earlier on uh, today, I already did the first presentation that kind of gave you a bird's eye view of that process. I'm going to go ahead and screen share and I'll do a super fast recap and then um, we'll dive into today's topic, which is the first portion of that strategy. It's going in really deep into that first tier of the process. So let me get my screen share up. Make sure you guys can see and hear me okay. So I know you can hear me. Make sure the slides are working and then we can dive in. Okay, perfect. All right, so guys, Today what we're talking about is the first tier of our three-tiered process or our straight A process, which is all about driving awareness. It's about getting attention uh, in the news feed from your prospects by speaking to them based on where they're at in their mindset at that time. So we're gonna talk specifically about how to use Facebook ads to make those transformation-seeking clients, your ideal clients, aware of you as the coach or service provider that they want to work with, which which really is, is going to prime them well to go through your funnel, give you their name and email address, get on the phone with you, or even just go ahead and give you a credit card right then and there. So just to kind of recap what we already talked about earlier today in the first video, uh, I introduced you to our three-tier strategy or our straight A process, which has um, the three tiers, attention, activation, agitation. And the idea here is that every person that you talk to in your Facebook ads is going to be in a different frame of mind and they're going to need to hear a different message in order to move on to the next step because not all prospects are the same. Some people they are not aware of the problem that they have or they think that they have a different problem. They're focused on something else. Other people, they may be very aware of their problem, but but, they're, but they don't feel like it's actually possible to solve it. Or maybe they do feel like it's possible, but they're very focused on a different reason why they want to solve the problem. Maybe they, or, and then other people, they, they know the problem, they're very, they, they understand the possibilities, but they think there's a different path that they should take to solve it, a different path than what you teach or what you provide. And still other people, they, they, ha they know about the problem, they know about the possibilities, they know about that path, but they don't know that you're the person who should help them go down that path. And then finally, there's people who know the problem, the possibilities, the path, they know about you as the person, but they don't know about your product yet. And so you need to make sure that your ads are addressing all of those different frames of mind and all of those different levels of awareness. Attention, the job of attention, which is what we're going to talk about today, the job of attention is to make sure that you are making your prospects aware of the problem, the possibilities, the path, and the person so that when you try to activate them into a lead or a buyer, when you try to introduce them to your product, they are actually primed and ready for it. So you have to make sure that before you introduce your product, before you try to send someone through a funnel, get them on the phone, get their name and email address, 
and introduce them to whatever it is that you have to that that you're that you're offering or that you're selling they are actually in a frame of mind where they're ready for it they have to go through the awareness domino they have to be aware of the problem the possibilities the path and you as the person to take them down it and that's the job of the first tier of facebook ads and so in this presentation today i want to show you different angles that you can run in your facebook ads to inspire different copy, different video ads, so that not all of your ads look the same. I mean, guys, the truth is, in order to be successful with Facebook ads, you have to be creating tons and tons and tons of angles. You cannot just create one ad or two ads or even three ads. You have to have 20, 30 different ads that you are writing. You have to be regularly creating new ad angles to split test because there are so many different variations in terms of what people might be thinking, what messages they might need to hear. And that's why I typically say you should not be managing your own ads. You should absolutely have someone else managing your ads for you because it is a full-time job having to write all of this copy. So my, my, what I hope to happen here, what, what I hope to do here is that either you, you know, completely ignore that advice and you go and manage your own ads, but you do it the right way. So you're at least going to get ideas for angles that you can run and you're going to, you're going to be able to run angles that are going to actually get results and you're going to be able to do it the right way. Or you see everything that is involved here and you can go take it to your existing ads manager and say, Hey, I want you to execute this. Or you can take it to a different ads manager and you can say, hey, watch this video, I want you to go execute it. Or finally, maybe you hire us and you say, okay, you guys know the strategy, I can see what you guys are doing, I trust you to do it, and you hire us to manage your ads. Whatever the solution is that you end up deciding on at the end of this, that, that's fine with me. I just want to make sure that you have what you need to be able to run your ads the right way because I see so many people out there who are running Facebook ads and it's the same crap every single solitary time. It's the same overtly promotional uh, ad angles with it's just going straight into their funnel and talking about like, hey, here's my free gift, here's the name of the gift, go click here to opt into it, and that's it. And that's just not enough, guys. That's not gonna cut it. If you wanna scale your ads, you have to run a variety of different angles. So I'm gonna give you a direction right now on what to say so that you know how to come up with different ad angles because this is where most people struggle. Even if they agree, okay, yeah, Amanda, I get it. You know, I do need to run more ad angles. They don't know what to say. They don't know what to say in them. And so it's really hard for them to make the time to even go and write them or it feels like it's too much work. So I'm gonna make it easy on you because I'm gonna give you what to say. I'm gonna give you what to focus on in these angles. So let's start at the top of the awareness domino. For ads where you are, your goal is to make the prospect in the newsfeed aware of their problem. You can do it a couple of different ways. You can run an ad angle that addresses who is the type of person who has this problem and help them self-identify or, or just have you help them identify themselves as the person who has this problem. So you can run an ad angle that talks about how these types of people tend to have these types of problems. And so your ad would describe that type of person. And in reading the ad, they'd say, oh, that sounds like me. I sound like this type of person. So I must have these problems. Let's say, for example, you are a lawyer and you do elder law. I don't know. <laughs> Random example off the top of my head. Um, and if you want me to actually go through this with your example, go ahead and in the comment section, tell me what you do, who you serve, and like how you help them. So the, the problem you solve, the solution you provi provide, and then what is that path that you help them through? Tell me those things and um, like give me your elevator pitch or whatever. And then I can actually go through this and give you some examples of angles that you could run for yourself. Um, but anyway, going back to the example of let's say you're a lawyer 
and you do elder law. <laughs> you could have an ad that describes the elderly and just describe your ideal client. And then once you, you're done describing the elderly and you're describing your ideal client, you can say these types of people tend to have these types of problems. And now you can start describing the, the problems that the elderly have. And now they've identified, oh, I'm this type of person. Oh, I have this type of problem. So now it's a natural segue for you to then go and offer your solution, right? Um, it puts them in that right frame of mind. It helps them self-identify as, oh, I am this type of person who has this type of problem. Um, another route that you can take in your problem angles is you can say what type of problems they have and where it shows up. So you can talk about the symptoms that they might be experiencing and then reveal the root of those symptoms to be the problem that you solve. So let's say you're a business coach and your ideal client is a brick and mortar restaurant business owner, right? You could go in the ad and describe the symptoms that this restaurant tier, <laughs> restaurant owner uh, is experiencing, that they don't have enough people in their restaurant, that they're struggling to pay their staff, that um, they are struggling to keep up with all of the uh, legal, logistical uh, requirements that come with having a brick and mortar business owner that has to adhere to certain, certain health regulations and just start describing the issues that restaurants have. And then you can say, well, if you're experiencing this, these problems, here's, this is the, this is the actual reason why. And you reveal to them that the root cause of all of those symptoms is that they don't have a plug and play uh, lead acquisition system. Like they don't have a sales funnel. And you just reveal, you position not having a sales funnel as the root reason why they're experiencing all of these symptoms. So that's another angle that you can play with that will help position it to where, okay, they're now aware of the problem they have and they're in the frame of mind that this is the problem they need to solve. So it's a natural next step for them to hire you or to work with you in order to solve it. Another way that you can position this is to get at the problem being something they need to solve now. Because there are sometimes people who know about the problem but they don't think it's something they need to worry about now. They think it can wait. And so another ad angle that you can run gets at the timing of the problem. You know, a lot of people think that um, the things that, they, a lot of people think that XYZ can wait, but it can't, and here's why. A lot of people think that they need to be worrying about A, B, C, D, but actually those are things that can totally wait but this, this can't. This is the thing that you need to worry about right now. Like, let's say you're a sales coach and you help people to um, learn how to get calls on the calendar, whatever. You can, you can run an ad that talks about how, you know, you might be focusing on building your list and getting really good at converting on your sales calls and... Uh, making your website and, and building a brand. And those are all really great, important things. But guess what? They can all wait because none of that is going to matter if you don't learn how to get calls on the calendar. That's the problem that needs to be solved first. And if you can solve that problem, then everything else will fall into place. Right. So that actually is kind of a nice segue into the last one, which is a which is an angle in your ads that talks about why this is the problem that trumps all of the other problems and why this is the problem 
that's going to end up creating a domino effect in your business that's going to solve everything else. That th Because this is the root problem that needs to be solved right now based on who you are, when you solve this, all of a sudden, everything else is going to fall into place. So you run an ad angle that shows how how that will happen. How if 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 A is solved, B will get solved. If if and then once B is B is solved, then C will get solved. So on and so forth. So for example, if you um, just learn how to get calls on the calendar. All of a sudden, you're going to start talking to more people, and by talking to more people, you're going to figure out your sales conversations. And in figuring out your sales conversations, you're going to end up getting more clients. And in getting more clients, you're going to be forced to have to figure out how to fulfill on a massive scale. So you're going to fill, you're going to figure out your fulfillment issues. And by fi figuring out your fulfillment issues, you're going to be able to. Um, better direct your staff in how to operate the business. And so if you can just solve getting calls on the calendar, all of a sudden everything else is going to naturally fall into place. But this is the first domino that needs to fall, right? So you can see how this is a variety of different ways that you can attack the same objective. In all of these angles, you're trying to convince and persuade this person in your newsfeed, hey, this is your problem, not anything else. This is your problem and you need to solve it right now. Okay, so these are four ad angles that you can run that all serve that same purpose. And as soon as you are done writing that, writing the copy that essentially teaches them, it's educating them. This is not straight promos. This is not going directly into your funnel, directly into your offer. You're teaching and then selling. You're teaching and then making an offer. So you're going to educate them, um, make them aware of this problem, um, convince and persuade them that it's a problem they need to solve right now. And then it'll be a natural segue for you to say, oh, okay, well, now that you know that this is the problem that's going to solve everything else, here you go. Here's my gift that's going to help you solve this problem. Or here, here you go. Here's where you can schedule a call and I can help you walk, I can help you solve this problem, right? You can see how it's a natural segue once you address this first. So those are some initial ad angles that you can run for the top of the awareness domino to make them aware of their problem. Those are four angles for you, four different ads there that you can run. Once they're aware of the problem, the next step in the awareness domino is you want to make them aware of the possibilities. Now, here's the thing. There are different things that matter to different people. Some people, let's say you're a business coach and you help people make more money. You might think all you need to talk about is that it is possible to make more money. But in reality, different people want to make more money for different reasons. And so the possibilities that you want to discuss are going to vary based on the person that you're talking to and based on the person who's seeing your ads. So you want to have different angles that address the different possibilities that might matter to different people. So in one of your ads, you might talk about the psychological impact that they'll experience by solving that problem. So if you solve this problem, here's what's going to happen for you psychologically. Um, you're going to feel better about yourself. You're going to feel more confident. You're going to um, feel more brave, more courageous. You're going to stop worrying so much about everything. Um, you're going to feel more secure, more resilient. Um, you might experience an internal transformation and overcome trauma as a result of working on certain things in your business. And so you can use your Facebook ads to address some of the psychological impacts and things that are possible for them as a result of solving the problem. And then it becomes a natural segue for them to want to work with you to create that result. Because there will be some people where this is what's really going to matter to them. Maybe you're, like I said, maybe you're a business coach. You might think, oh, I should just talk about helping people make money. But there's going to be people who, yes, they want to make money, but it's because they want these results. They want the psychological results. And then there's other people who they want the physiological results. 
Yes, they want to make more money, but it's not because they want the financial stability. It's because they it's because they know that that financial stability is going to lead to them being able to have a healthier lifestyle um, because they're not going to be as stressed. So it's not going to be destroying their body as much as it is now because they're not going to have to be, you know, tied to the computer. So they're not going to um, and they're not going to be so sedentary because they'll actually have time to go out and and live life and and take walks and go work out. And those are the things that are going to matter that are going to matter to them. Um, I'm one of these people. Like, yes, I want to make more money. I always want to make more money, but it's not because I want financial stability. It's because I want what financial stability will give me in terms of health and wellness. You know, the, I, I love health and wellness. I love being able to work out. I love not having to be changed to my devices. And so if you can give me a solution that speaks to creating that type of lifestyle, that's what's going to resonate with me, right? Other people, they're, they're, the, uh, they, they, they care a lot about their achievement in the professional realm. And so for them, it might be that they want claims to fame. They want to feel secure within their career. They want that financial stability. They want to be able to be the authority and the expert. They want recognition. They want to be the person who's getting awards, who's getting called out in Facebook groups. That's what they want. And so it's not necessarily about the money for them. It's about that sense of achievement and pride in what they've been able to create. So you can see how even if it's the same exact result that all of them want, and, and it's the same exact path that all of these people need to take, the message that's going to impact them is going to vary based on what matters to them. So your ads need to take that into consideration. Um, there will also be other people who, it, none of that is what resonates with them. It's their personal impact. It's how it's going to impact their marriage, their um, relationship with their children, with their family, with their friends, with themselves, that the 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 domino effect it's going to have the butterfly effect it's going to have on all of the relationships in their life that that's what's going to matter to them so if you have a message about you know i just want to make more money or i'm going to help you make more money and become really well known in this space that's not going to resonate with the people who care about the personal impact about the relationship the the impact on their relationships so you need to have Again, four different angles here, four different ads that address each of these types of impact so that you can test and see which of these messages are resonating with the people that you are uh, reaching, the people that you are uh, trying to help. Um, that's the second step in the awareness domino. You want to have, like I said, those four angles that address uh, the problem that you solve, you want to have these four angles that address the possibilities that are that that are possible <laughs> when the person solves that problem. And at that point, now you can start to make them aware of your unique path that you recommend for them. And you can start to create some ad angles that address this. Um, so there's a couple different ways that you can do this is you can have one ad angle that makes them aware of your path, of this path, of the right path. And you can essentially compare or contrast, really, your path from all of the other paths that are recommended to them or your solution, your method, whatever, your process that positions yours as the right one and everyone else's as the wrong one, right? So what you'll, uh, what you'll want to do in this ad angles, you'll say something like, okay, I know that all the other gurus out there are telling you to do ABC, but here's why you actually need to do XYZ. I know you're trying to do all of these different things. You're trying to do boom, 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 boom. You're, but that's a distract. Those things are distractions. Those things are not going to work. Here's why 
you need to actually work on this. And then you introduce them to the right path, the path that they actually need to be focused on. So your job in this ad angle is to stop their distractions, is to get them to focus, to convince them and persuade them that your process, your method, your path is the one to focus on and to believe in. The other way that you can run this ad, there, so there's two. Um, one is where you um, persuade them away from other paths. And there's another one where you convince them that the unique way, that, that, that the way you do it is very unique. So let's say, for example, you're a business coach. And um, in this, sorry, in this ad angle, you're saying, no, you shouldn't be doing uh, giveaways. You shouldn't be doing telesummits. You shouldn't be doing, um, you shouldn't be speaking on stages. You shouldn't be posting on social media. You shouldn't be doing SEO in order to drive traffic. You should be doing Facebook ads. This ad angle is going to convince them, hey, Facebook ads is the thing to focus on. The next one is going to compare how people within the Facebook ads realm do Facebook ads and it's going to position the way that you do it as unique. So this is the old way of doing Facebook ads and here's how you should really do it or here's how everyone else is doing Facebook ads. That's not right. Here's the new way, the better way. Um, this is the way that you need to actually be running Facebook ads. So within the realm of your path hat and your process and your method, what is the right way to do it? So this is a this is a prime example of that. Actually, this entire training, I'm saying, okay, everyone else is running Facebook ads with just generic, overtly sales salesy, promotionally um, ad angles. That's not right. Um, it's not even ad angles. It's one angle. It's it's an overt sales promotion. <laughs> I my, the new path, the new way is to run at uh, many ad angles that address the level of awareness that your prospect has and where they're at in the awareness domino, right? So what I'm doing right now is actually an example of this. If you do this, if you run these ad angles, you're gonna have, you're gonna now gonna have prospects who are aware of the problem, they're aware of the possibilities, they're aware of the path, and so the last step in the awareness domino is you're going to need to make them aware of you as the person to help them through that path. And what you want to do is you want to create that know, like, and trust factor. So you're going to want to run ad angles that help get them to know you, that help get them to like you, that help get them to trust you. So in your in your no, um, no like, no, like, and trust, so if you get them to, in your ad angles where you're trying to get them to know you, just run stories, run, run ads that have stories about your successes, stories about your stumbling blocks and failures. Um, here is where you really want to bring your personality out. Um, you really want to be who you really are. If you're super weird and goofy like I am, have your no um, ad angles. Be weird and goofy if you are... Um, if you're very rough around the edges and uh, you curse and you uh, dress gothic, I don't know, dress that way, talk that way in your um, ad angles where you're trying to get them to know you. Um, be really transparent about you know what you've gone through, what you've succeeded in, where you've struggled because you want to create, um, you want to make yourself relatable. So that's what that's the goal of these ad angles. Now I recommend you teach through those stories. So don't just have it be, you know, any old story. Have it be a story of your success that has a lesson in it that you can then tie into your offer or a lesson, a story that shows somewhere you failed and have that lesson tie into your offer. You always want in all of these you're and you're going to have it all tie into your offer. And then you have ad angles that help them get to like you. And people like you, so people know, people people feel like they know you and relate to you based on your 
your personality. They often will like you based on your beliefs when they feel like you're their peeps because you share the same values, you share the same beliefs as them. And so here is where I recommend um, creating a dichotomy, creating um, a, a, polar, a polarizing stance where you really stand up for your beliefs and you show conviction. So um, this is where you run ad angles that uh, are a little, uh, a little, what's, what's the word? Um, I, I don't know what else to say except for polarizing. They're, they're a little, they're polarizing. They're controversial. That was the word I was looking for. Um, they're controversial. And you talk about how like, this is what everyone else um, says and thinks and that's just wrong and here's why or like um uh, you know think of something that's popular and go a completely different direction than it so um here is where you want to draw in your peeps that sh share the same beliefs that have the same values and again you want to share this in a way where that lesson ties into what you're offering so that you can segue it into your funnel and then finally, with your ad angles that are generating trust, this is where you get to teach. This is where you're actually teaching your own frameworks, your own content, and you're actually giving them value. And then you're segueing it into your offer from there because people will, people will feel like they know you based on your personality and how relatable you are. They'll feel like they like you based on your values and your convictions. Um, they'll feel like they can trust you based on your knowledge and your expertise. Right. So in those ad angles, you need to teach and you need to illustrate your knowledge, you need to illustrate your expertise and give them value. So later on in the series, I'll act. I'm going to. Um, uh, so later on this week in the Facebook group, I'm going to teach you my factors framework, which is how to come up with ad angles that help build trust so that people see you as a knowledgeable expert who they actually want to to work with and how you can segue that into your funnel so that they actually go into your funnel primed and ready to buy. So just to kind of recap here, these are different ad angles that you can run to work your prospects in the Facebook feed through the awareness domino, making them aware of your pro the problem, aware of the possibilities, aware of the path that you recommend they take to solve that problem and make those possibilities a reality and aware of you as the person they can know, like, and trust to take them down that path. If you counted it up, if you actually created all of these ad angles that I recommended, you would have four ads um, helping illustrate the problem. You would have four ads helping illustrate the possibilities, so that's eight. You would have two ads illustrating the path, so that's 10. And then, I mean, you can really have, a, you can have a ton of different um, limitless um, ads uh, about no like and trust, but let's say you have one of, one of each, one no, one like, one trust, that would be three. So you would have 13 ads. So you would have 13 ads that you are testing to get your prospects to a place where they are now ready to buy. The problem that most people have is that they're not putting in the effort to craft these ad angles. They're just putting one out there based on a guess of where their prospects are at. And so they're not getting in front of the right prospects at the right time or they're getting prospects who aren't ready. They're, they're, not, they're not prime. So you're putting non-ideal prospects through a funnel that they're not going to buy from. So it takes effort in order to get ads right, and that's why most people fail at it. And this is why, like I said, I recommend you 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 just hire someone because it is a lot of work to do this um, and to do it the right way because you have to do all of these steps. You need all four steps of this awareness domino to get your prospects primed and ready to buy. You can't do just a piece of it. You can't just guess where your prospects are at and then throw ads out based on that assumption. Just like nutrition it doesn't mean anything without working out, taking rest, doing cardio. Medication means nothing without therapy. Funnels mean nothing without traffic. Your product will do, putting ads in front of your audience about your product and your funnel is gonna mean nothing without making them aware of the problem, possibilities, path, and person first. You need to prime them and get them ready for it. 
If they are not aware of all of these, they will not be ready to become aware of your product. So this is ne a, necessary, a necessary evil. Now at this point, you've got three options here, right? You can just skip over this advice altogether and say, you know what, Amanda, this is too much work. I'm not going to do it. And just spend your days helping the little bit of clients that you have, wishing you could get in front of more people. You could just skip it all together, say, Amanda, it's too much work, and just stress about where the next lead is going to come from and wonder what would have happened if I just listened to Amanda. You can just skip over this and say, eh, it's too much work and just not make the money that you want to make because you thought that Facebook ads were too risky, were too difficult, were too expensive. That's option one. Just skip it. Option two, you can do it yourself. You can go and say, you know what, Amanda, this does sound like work, but I'm willing to do it. I'm going to put in that effort I'm gonna, and I'm going to do it myself. I want to I wanna know how to do these angles. I want to be creative. I want to create these, the, the, these copy angles and manage my ads. And you can spend your days writing tons and tons and tons of ads, wishing that you could really focus more on your clients and using your real gifts. Stressing when one of the ad angles doesn't work and wondering where you went wrong or why Facebook ads aren't working for you. And just wasting money on Facebook ads that don't work because you thought that DIYing it would save you money. And man, were you wrong. That's option two. Just do it yourself. And the third option is you can just go and hire someone. You can hire an ads manager to help you. Let them write the ads copy, make these images, set up the campaigns because that's what they do best and it's a lot of work. You can let them do the numbers tracking and the split testing and figure out where your clients are at in the awareness domino and um, what messages they need to hear based on where they're at because that takes a lot of time and a lot of testing and you don't need to be doing that. And you can let them actually make you money from ads because the ads do work. Ads work when you work them right. So that's option three is just hire someone to do it for you. Now, if that's the option that you're considering is hiring someone to do it for you, who do you hire? Because this is nuanced and it is a lot of work and you've got to make sure that the right person is managing it. And so what I would recommend to you there is when it comes to hiring an ads manager, it makes sense to have the person who knows the process that you believe in be the one to help you through it. You wouldn't go to one chiropractor and they and have them say, oh, you need um, you need X, Y, and Z. And you believe that that's what you need. But then you go to a different chiropractor to actually be the one to do it. That doesn't make sense. You wouldn't have a nutrition um, expert make a meal plan for you and tell you like, hey, this is how you need to be eating and then go to a different nutritionist for questions about it. That doesn't make sense. I've just explained the process to you. So it makes sense that we would be the people to help do all of this for you. And we absolutely can. This is our specialty in running traffic to funnels for coaches, consultants, um, course creators, service providers, uh, lawyers, real estate agents, and health and fitness professionals. That's our audience that we work with. And we are so confident in what we do that we actually offer a guarantee, which is very unusual for Facebook ad agencies. Most ad agencies, um, they, they don't offer any type of guarantee. We also manage publicity as well. We're probably the only ad agency in existence that incorporates publicity traffic into paid advertising. Um, so you can click the link in this post and it'll talk a little bit more about what that looks like and how we work with people, what our ad service looks like, um, what that, that publicity piece looks like into how we integrate it into the ads, um, and what that guarantee is. If you click the link in this post, it goes through all of that. Um, but I do want to clarify who we work with because we are selective in terms of, of the, the people that we accept and you do have to qualify to work with us. So I did mention the industries that we work with. Like I said, we work with coaches and that you could be local or virtual, that's fine. Um, as long as you know, you have a knowledge that you are and, and an expertise that you are selling. Um, if you have courses, it doesn't matter what type of course it is. We've worked with people in all sorts of weird um, niches with very bizarre courses. <laughs> um, but if you have a course, we can help you sell it. 
um, if you do a service and, and it doesn't need to just be like a traditional VA type lawyers, real estate agents, we've been very successful in those niches. And in particular, health and fitness professionals, we absolutely love working with them as well. Um, so if you fit within our industry requirement and you have an offer website or funnel already for us to send traffic to, then you you would be a fit. Um, if you don't know who you serve and how you help them and you don't even know your offer yet, you're probably not ready to work with us yet um, because obviously we can't send ads to nothing. We need to have something to send ads to. And um, if, if you don't even know what you're selling, that's going to make it very hard. Um, finally, we do want to work with committed business warriors who are really serious about their business growth. They're willing to execute a bold, aggressive marketing plan. We're not looking to work with people who have a lack mindset. You know, we want people who are committed to being successful at any cost, who are doers, not dreamers. Like if you have a poor work ethic, we're not going to mesh because we're overachievers. We're type A personalities here. We want leaders, not followers. This is a collaborative process. You know, we we need to know your expertise. We might need you to do videos here and there for the ads. So we're going to need you to step up. If this sounds like you, then click the link in the post and schedule a call. And on that call, what we're going to do is first we're going to talk about where your business is at right now. We want to have foundational knowledge about your business. So who are you? What do you do? Who do you serve? How do you serve them? What do your packages look like? What do your prices look like? Do you already have a funnel in place? How is it converting? Um, what's working for you? What's not? Those types of things. So we're going to ask um, questions to kind of get some insights on where your business is at right now. And then we're going to talk a little bit about where you want that business to go, what your vision is, uh, and not like not from a perspective of, oh, you know, what do you dream is going to happen? But as a business warrior who's committed to making things happen, what do you what are you absolutely committed to making happen in your business? You know, what's um, is there something that you want to shift in your business models or something you want to shift in your funnel or maybe what you have is working and you just want to scale it up? We're going to need to get really clear on your vision because we can't help you execute a vision that we don't understand. And from there, once we know where your business is at, what your vision is for where you want it to go, we're going to help you. We're going to help uh, create a path. We're going to essentially audit your strategy for bridging that gap. We're going to audit your strategy for taking you where you are now to where you want to go and give you the path that we best recommend. Um, then from there, you know, we can just have a discussion about are we the right people to help you down that path? Is it a fit? Do we want to work together? And then you can ask whatever questions you have about our services, our packages, our prices, our term links, all of those good questions, um, all, all that good stuff. Um, we can address all of that on the call. We are selective because our results are our reputation. We want to make sure that we're working with people who we can really help. Uh, like I said in, in my earlier live stream today, I am not, I'm not in this to make money. It used to be something that was really important to me. I used to love being able to say like, oh, I helped someone spend $700 in ads and they made $100,000. I helped someone spend $2,000 in ads and they made 125 grand. Like I had someone get a 400% ROI. Those are all real stories. And that's great. And I'm, I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of our team that we were able to do that. But it's not why we do this. We do this because we want to work with happy people and create happy clients. And we want to help them create. Um, we we want to have a butterfly effect in this world where we're helping people who are helping others. And we're expanding our impact in the world. Like that's what excites us. That's what lifts us up. So we can't do that if we're just letting anyone in. We have to make sure that we believe in the people that we're working with. So if you feel like you qualify, if you want to see if you're qual you qualify, if you're not sure, but you just want to talk, go ahead and click the link in this post. Like I said, it'll, it'll go through our service. It talks about what we offer in terms of an agency 
um, the structure of the service and it has a, it has a button on that page where you can schedule a call and then we'll, we'll hop on a zoom. And like I said, we'll talk about where your business is at now, what your vision is for it. And then we're going to audit your strategy to make sure that, that, that you're bridging that gap in a way that is actually going to get you those results. So click the link on the post. Uh, we will talk to you guys really soon. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope that you love this, that you learned a lot, and I'm really excited to see where this does take you. Now, like I said in the beginning of this, uh, this is tier one. This is talking about the attention ads in the straight A process and helping craft ad angles that help your prospects in the newsfeed become aware of the problem, possibilities, path, and person but there is another step. There's the activation. Um, there's the activation activation stage tier two in the straight A process where you activate them to start becoming aware of your products and your offerings. And that's going to take a whole nother set of ads and a whole nother approach. And so that's what we're going to be talking about later on in this live stream series. That is all for today. I have to go pick up my kiddo. Um, actually, no, I have a call and then I have to go pick up my kiddo. Um, and then tomorrow I'll be back in the Facebook group to dive into the next tier. In the meantime, if you have any questions, you guys know where to find me. But that is all for today. Thank you guys for being here. And I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow. All right. Bye, guys. Mwah.